our series, The 2020s, we are exploring the big topics that will dominate the conversation in the next decade. This morning, our focus is on health. The 2010s changed how and where we receive medical help. We saw many breakthroughs like CRISPR gene editing, which opened the possibility of curing genetic diseases. The FDA also approved the HIV pill Truvada, which can reduce the risk of infection by 99%. And scientists used 3D printing to create tissue for an artificial heart that beats just like a normal human heart. Dr. Oh, John yeah. Lapook is here to show us what we might expect in the next decade. Crazy. Before we get to these future possible developments, we want to talk about Representative John Lewis right. and his diagnosis with stage four pancreatic ca um, cancer. What's his prognosis and treatment op options? You know, of course, it's very tough when it's stage four, meaning that the cancer is spread outside of the pancreas. So we're looking at a, a combination of chemotherapy. You, uh, there's a cocktail that people are given. Uh, depending upon the genetic analysis of it, they can have certain types of immune therapy or some other specialized therapy. But, um, you know, it's, it's going to be uh, tough for him, uh, but there's always hope. You know, mm -hmm. never take away hope. There is always hope. But these are, this is one of the tougher cancers. It's a tough right? one because by the time you get diagnosed, often it's just it's already spread beyond the right. pancreas. You know, the pancreas is in a place up here in your upper abdomen where it can grow mm -hmm. a, a cancer and you don't even know it. It's not pressing up against things right. that give you symptoms. Well, looking into the future. The future. Can you see into the future? <laughs> there it is. I have a crystal ball. That's a good whistle. Yeah, that's that's a good <laughs> you hum and whistle at the same time. Good it's one. not his first step. <laughs> so the NIH has started a trial to look at yes. whether there can be a universal flu vaccine. This last flu vaccine only had like 29% effectiveness. Right. What do you think are the chances we will have that universal vaccine? I think it's going to happen. I spoke to Tony Fauci at the NIH, who is in charge of this uh, effort. And uh, the problem is, and the reason why it, it goes from like 20 to 60 percent efficacy, you know, from year to year, is that the flu virus itself changes. It mutates. And so right. it's like trying to catch up with it and you're, you're a little bit behind, right? Uh, so what the universal vaccine does is it directs the uh, vaccine against a part of the virus that doesn't change. Oh. It doesn't change. So I'm very hopeful, as is Tony Fauci, that we're going to get something really good. So, Dr. LaPook, a lot of developments, obviously. There's a lot of studies out there that are finding that artificial intelligence may actually assist in finding an illness. What oh, does yeah. that mean for, for oh, us yeah. in the next decade? It, it's going to be huge, you know, with an asterisk. We're going to have to use it, you know, with wisdom. So right now... Computers can read x-rays well, MRI, even look at a mole and say, is that likely to be a melanoma? Right. You know, the, the thing is going to be we're going to have to do studies to see, you know, what is actually real, what's actually helping us and what isn't. I spoke to Dr. Paul Friedman, who's the head of cardiology at the Mayo Clinic. He had the coolest device. It is a stethoscope, mm -hmm. which normally if I listen to your heart, I'm going to listen to murmurs, maybe the rate to see if there's some regular heartbeat. It's also picking up an electrocardiogram. But that's not all. <laughs> Are you selling it slices, <laughs> it slices and dice. That's not all. What it also does is it, check, it makes an electrocardiogram, and based on artificial intelligence, it can help predict whether or not that person is in heart failure. How does it wow. do that? Or whether they're at increased risk that's of developing huge. heart failure. That's going to be a big thing. And the FDA has given it breakthrough status to try to see if we can get on the market with that. Last question. You think there'll be an HIV vaccine? Okay, so Tony Fauci again at the NIH in charge of this vaccine. Right now, the problem is the vaccine is not good enough. Mm. Uh, uh, it's like about 30% effective. But he said you don't have to get up to 90%. If you can get up to 50 to 60% effective, mm -hmm. then combining that with Truvada and with condom use and other preventative measures, you could probably have uh, save millions of lives. Thank you so much, Dr. LaPook. Much to look forward to.